Hello, I'm David Frazier, the Chief Market Strategist and Senior Equity Analyst for RealDaily.com's Maximum Profit Trader and Small Cap Profit Confidential. This is the first in a series of videos that we plan to do every week regarding factors and developments that are likely to affect the direction of the worldwide financial markets and how you, our audience, can profit from those developments regardless of whether stock prices are going up, going down, or going sideways. Now, before we get started, let me say we've been very successful with both our Maximum Profit Trader, which we began in July of this year, and our Small Cap Profit Confidential Service, which we began in April of this year, with 75% of our recommendations for our short-term trading service, Maximum Profit Trader, generating gains since we began that service during July, and the average overall return on our closed-out positions for our Small Cap Profit Confidential service, generating a 12.1% average return since we began that service during April of this year. And both of those services are outperforming all of the major stock market indices. Now, so in this first video, uh, and none of this is scripted, you know, I'm just talking to you as if I was sitting next to you. We're going, or I should say, I'm going to talk a, a little bit about uh, the upcoming Federal Reserve meeting and Federal Reserve monetary policy, or should I say interest rate decision, on Wednesday, December 19th of this month, which later today, you know, you're probably just now watching this video sometime on Wednesday, December 19th. Now, we've had the vast majority of so-called financial market experts have repeatedly forecast over the past several months that the Fed would raise rates on uh, during its December meeting and that they would raise rates several times in the coming year. Well, I'm not sure that the Fed is going to raise rates. In fact, the Fed never raises rates in reality. It only targets and controls only one interest rate, the overnight bank lending rate, uh, better known as the federal funds rate. Now, it's true that yields on very short-term debt securities, meaning two years or less, tend to move in the same direction as that federal funds rate, but longer-term rates are really not affected much at all about what the Fed does. It's really just a bunch of nonsense. And my thinking is, there's a good chance that the Fed will not raise its overnight lending rate today on Wednesday, December 19th. If it does, it's only going to do so for political reasons. And I say that because, meaning that most so-called experts and financial market participants are expecting the Fed to raise its short-term lending rate. But during the coming year, or should I say, I guess, over the next several months, there's no way that the Federal Reserve is going to raise its interest rate. Um, it's, it's going to maintain that rate at its current level around two, and a, or, uh, around two to two and a quarter percent. And why do I say that? I say that because my investment research and my firm's investment research models begin indicating during September of this year, the stock prices in general were in a peaking process and likely would peak uh, during October and then turn lower. And because of that, I advised both our maximum profit trader subscribers as well as our small cap profit, com profit confidential subscribers to get mostly out of stocks. We do uh, hold currently a few stocks in those model portfolios, but we have advised our subscribers to be mostly in cash at this point in time. We've also advised our subscribers to put their money into a double short inverse equity ETF. That is an ETF that moves in twice the opposite direction of the small cap uh, Russell 2000 index. Uh, the symbol is TWM as in Mary. ProShares Ultra Short Russell 2000. And guess what? When only in the past 17 days, uh, 70, 17 days ago is when I first recommended that 
ETF to, to our subscribers, and I have recommended a very heavy 20% allocation. That's how confident I was that stocks would turn lower. When on, in only 17 days, that um, ETF is already up 17%, and I expect it continue to move higher during the months ahead. So, I don't care what the Fed does. doesn't make any difference to me. And the reason being, I forecast the 2007 to 2009 bear market three weeks before stocks peaked during October of 2009. And then I advised people to get back into the market only a week and a half after stocks bottomed during March of 2009. The peak, I'm sorry, was in October of 2007. The bottom was in March of 2009. And I'm confident that I'll be able to continue to do that, uh, largely because of investment models that I created more than 30 years ago and have uh, continued to develop and have been, been very accurate at forecasting the future direction of the markets. I'm also very confident that uh, I and we will continue to um, make recommendations that enable our subscribers to make money in the markets. And lastly, I'm very confident that the U.S. economy is going to continue to weaken during the months ahead. But once again, I couldn't care less whether stocks go up, down, or sideways because there's always ways to make money in the market. And we've done that, and I expect to be able to continue to do that. So I, I'm not sure what the Fed's going to do today, but I don't really care because I'm very confident that regardless of what the Fed does, that the U.S. economy, as well as other economies around the world, are going to continue to weaken during the months ahead, and that stock prices in general are going to trend lower. But there's going to be lots of trading opportunities. And, you know, there's always going to be bounces when we'll advise our subscribers to buy stocks. There's always going to be stocks that... Uh, get into a peaking formation and we'll tell them to sell them short or to go in these inverse equity ETFs. So I thank you for watching and listening today and I urge you strongly to try one of our services by clicking on the link or either of the links at the bottom of this video screen and um, you, you can uh, try uh, either our small cap profit confidential service and or our maximum profit trader service uh, at a very, very uh, a discounted uh, trial rate. And um, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. I, I thank you for listening. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll tune in again next week.